What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this dreary, rainy Monday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, and I hope you guys had a very, very nice, relaxing weekend. What's good for me is just that it, you know, went by too fast as usual. But other than that, it's beautiful, okay? Now, uh, I just want to address this uh, particular self-hater right here before we get into the main uh, story, okay? As you can see here, it says these eggs will be scrambled and used for a taco before they birth a black male, okay? That's ridiculous. Uh, I mean, let's just face it, people. Uh, we have self-haters among us in our um, group that basically pr promotes, um, how can I say, Genocide, self-genocide, you know what I'm saying? They so much for who they believe to be the dominant, you know what I mean, society, okay? And there's nothing dominant about that society except a system that was put in place, you understand, as punishment for our transgressions against the Most High, you understand? But the Most High is very, very, very light years ahead of uh low lives like this you understand what i'm saying see he knew when he created you know uh the world the people that's in the world okay he knew which ones would be loyal he knew which ones that wouldn't be just like this one right here he knew this tramp wasn't gonna be low because <laughs> she basically one of those type of women that, you know, is sold to the highest bidder. Once upon a time, she used to um, post videos against the so-called who she, who they call the dominant society, you know, talking about, uh, you know, them, you know, and how much of a uh, reprobate, I'm just putting in those terms, that those folks are. Okay, but then all of a sudden, you know, um, the post, you know, all of that stuff changed, you know, and it started going against black males, black men. You understand? I mean, just, you know, overnight, it just started going, you know, against black men, you know, and she took down all of her videos where she was talking about the so-called dominant society. Okay, she took them down. You know, that way nobody, you know, like from the dominant society could see the things that she was saying. But, you know, after, you know, a, a while, next thing you know, black men, well, black men are the worst things that ever, war you know, walked the earth. You know, basically, you know, bullshit. These are tramps right here. You understand what I'm saying? Number tramps that sold to the highest bidder. Now, Apparently, you know, her uh, the her hero has gone to her, made her an offer that she wouldn't refuse to start dumping on the very type of black men that birthed her funky ass. Basically, you know, that's what it all boils down to. But hey, instead of action speaking louder than words, in her case, it's money, you know. So if she can get, you know, more accolades to talk against black men, then she's going to do it. That's basically what it all boils down to. This is the reason why she's doing this. We need to point out uh, these type that is interwoven in the fabric of our people. Okay? And uh, let's say, for example, if we... I, I've seen so many stories, you know, you might find a black woman got disrespected, you know, um, in public might get beaten, might get shot, stabbed, or whatever, you know? And immediately, us, you know, as a people, especially the men, a lot of time, you know, get mad about it, want to go hard, you know what I'm saying? Make these videos and shit like this, you know, and say, hey, you, whoever did this or whatever, what this and this and that need happen to you and all that, right? Well, see, ain't no telling what some of these women being a you know, done, been said, you understand, just like this right here you see before you, you see, just like this right here you see before you, you know, so 
I'm going to have to start filtering the ones I ride for, you know, and the ones that I don't. Because it could be somebody just like this right here. Now, let's say, for example, if this one right here, something happens to her out there in public, done by the hand of the very folks that she put in the dominant section. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, good. I'll be just like this. All right. Hooray, hooray, hooray. You know, the Wicked Witch is whatever. You understand? Because this bitch right here is a self-hater to her heart. You see what I'm saying? And that's just all there is to it. I'm tired of this kind of shit. I'm tired of women like this among us. And brothers too, who do shit like this. Talking about black women. Don't you understand that um, you are basically, if you had your way, you will self-genocide to where you will give the enemy exactly what he wants. You see what I'm saying? By even saying things like this, saying things like this, she's no different than, who was it, Herod back in the Bible that wanted to kill uh, the firstborn or black, when those people were black, by the way. You understand what I'm saying? That way you can catch the Messiah, whoever's coming through where he can't come through. You know, that kind of thing. You know, and the midwives, they, you know, he even instructed the midwives to kill whatever baby that they birthed. You know, understand what I mean? But they didn't do it. And that's how Moses, well, they wanted to get the lawgiver. Giver. That's what it was. That's how, you know, Moses came along. So the midwives, they didn't do, you know, what, um, you know, this king here wanted them to do. Now, if Cynthia G was back in those days, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Guess what would have happened? She did the shit. See? Got no love for nothing like this, you know, and whatever, you know. Now, I said enough about this trick right here. That we want to go to the next story. This is a Texas lawyer by the name of Janae L. Jackson. You understand? Uh, last month, somewhere around uh, uh, on the 15th of September, she said something very fucking disparaging. You know, just you don't talk like this, you know, and especially against your own, you know, it says here. The bullet bags are mad, y'all. This is, uh, like I said, Janae L. Jackson, under the name on Twitter, is Hoochie Mane at Let's Talk Legal. She calls herself a lawyer, okay? You don't talk like this, man. See, this is what I'm talking about. You know, just bullshit. It's just, it's just disparaging to your own race, you know? I don't know if she noticed, but, you know, um, it, it, black women are being shot up, too. By the hands of the enemy. You see what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. Go over here. Texas lawyer ghosted from social media after calling black men bullet bags. Okay. Then you got this picture right here. Of where this piece of shit right here shot this man in the back. You know. Um, and then took a gun over there and... and um, you know, planning it like he was using it on some shit like this. You know, I remember when this happened, man. Uh, bad situation, you know. Um, yeah, but women like Cynthia G, uh, Janae L. Jackson, they get off on watching the very men, you know what I mean, that are basically uh, 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 brothers to them, you know, of the same race. Get shot down like this and he will make fun about the shit. This is not cool, not on any level. Now, to get into this story right here, it says Janae L. Jackson is apparently an attorney based in Dallas, Texas. Recently, a woman posted a tweet in which she referred to black men as bullet bags on her account under the name Hoochie Mane and the hashtag at Let's Talk Legal. Now, it seems the social media accounts, Twitter and Instagram, have been taken down for Hoochie Maine at Let's Talk Legal. She has been ghosted on social media. By ghosted, we mean she's all but disappeared. You know, see, you know, she want to thrive and want to make it every damn thing. And basically, see, when they talk like this, they're trying to show their allegiance to these white people. That's basically what it was. So they can get these fucking, you know, money and accolades by selling out and talking against their own people. You know, it's time to point low lowlifes like this 
out that are among us, the everyday ones, let alone the your Stephen A. Smiths and all that kind of stuff, you know, and uh, Candace Owens, you know, just tramps like that, you know, all of them. Let's talk about the everyday ones that are among us, okay? The everyday sellouts, okay? Now, to continue here, it says, bullet bag is a slur on social media targeting black men. In one usage, it is an offensive term that mocks police brutality, attempts to diminish its impact, according to Urban Dictionary. The example sentence given is, yay, bro, don't worry, it was a bullet bag anyway, okay? Uh, another meaning also derogatory is that a black man who is a bullet black bag is irresponsible. An urban dictionary definition describes a bullet bag as a bullet, well, excuse me, a black male, usually void of taking accountability of their actions and believe he should be catered to solely for being a black male. Okay. Um, goes on to say here, is not certain how at Let's Talk Legal meant to use the term, but it made her social media presence disappear. A Twitter user called on the Texas Bar Association to take action. That's the administration, well, that's the administrative agency of the Texas Judicial Branch that among other things managed grievance against lawyers uh, in the state. Which was a good thing to do, you know, may I add, you know, and if you, if any of you guys that see this video right here, yeah, do the same thing. If you feel like it, call in and complain about this bitch right here, man. You don't be taking, you don't talk shit like this. We got enough of problems and other races pointing and picking at us as it is than to have a cancer from within our own race doing the same thing outwardly. That's not cool, man. This is so fucking disrespectful. Okay, now to continue, uh, timeline tears at uh, Paradise Pairs for tweeted, call the Texas Bar Association and file a grievance on Janae L. Jackson, JD out of Texas, um, 1-800-932-1900, this is unacceptable. Uh, timeline tears also included what looks like a screenshot of a tweet by at Let's Talk um, Legal, which reads, the bullet bags are mad, y'all. Um, the post appeared to be in response to a tweet by politically co-stretch at stretch no, uh, yes, at stretch no stress, a black male that read, bitches be miserable on here, okay? See, all of this old uh, going back and forth, this rivalry between the black man and the black woman, this shit need to stop right here because the way the most high set things up, we can't make it without each other. That's just what it is. You need to understand that. You know, uh, you, re you really need to understand that. We cannot make it without each other. That's just what it is. Uh, one thing I can say about other national uh, nationalities, whatever, you hardly ever see them on social media carrying on like this okay i'm not saying that they don't do it but if they do it they keep it within the confinements of their own they don't put shit like this on social media you see this is this is, this is what i'm talking about so you got to give them props on that okay and whenever you guys see some bullshit like this taking place somebody shooting their mouth off like this put their ass out there put them out there for the world to see you understand what I mean? And stone, stone them and brick them. And what I'm saying with the words and social media, use that as a tool, you know what I mean, for, to give my ass whooping. You see, put them out there, just like they're doing with this hoochie man, you know, a.k.a. Janelle A. Jackson, right, out of Dallas, Texas, okay? 1-800-932-1900, okay? Call on this motherfucker right here. You know, because this, this is ridiculous. This shit is treasonistic, if you want to know the truth about it. Okay? Now, y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular situation. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. 
simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.